We have a request from Ariel Sanguinetti in Capital Federal, Argentina. Ariel wants to know, I'm trying to make my site faster, but I notice that Facebook widgets slows them down. Should I remove them? I think that it's useful for users to see how many people likes a page, don't you? So my rough answer is yes, that is useful. And my rough answer is, do what's best for the user. That's what's first and foremost, because that's what's going to attract more users, more loyalty, more buzz, people linking to you, people talking about you. That's the main thing you want to care about. So whenever Google talked about using page speed or site speed as a relevant uh, possible signal in our scoring results, a lot of people went too far in one direction, and they're like, ah, oh, I have to get down my site speed. I have to take these two pieces of JavaScript, and I have to compress them together. It all needs to be in one file, and everything has to be one single image load, and it's all got to be perfect and sprited. And that is good for user experience. And it is important to pay attention to how fast your site loads and what the user experience is like. But you don't have to go overboard. Remember, if we're using site or page speed in our search results, it's only one of more than 200 different factors. It doesn't change that the quality of your content and how good your site is and how many you know great blog posts or whatever you have on your site. Those are the main determinants of how well you'll rank. So I wouldn't recommend getting rid of widgets, whether they be from Facebook or whether they be ads or whatever, just because the server that you're remotely talking to is a little bit slower. There are plenty of ways that you can do things that are what we call asynchronous. So for example, we might look at the time that it takes until you reach the onload event. But that doesn't mean that JavaScript can't keep happening after the onload event. So Google Analytics, for example, now provides a new snippet of JavaScript code that will not affect the load time in any significant way. And that also is really good for the user experience. So it's always possible that Facebook will offer those sort of widgets that are asynchronous. But in the meantime, speed is not going to affect the vast majority of sites. Remember, it's, it's a relatively small percentage of sites that are affected by this. So if it helps your user experience in any way, I wouldn't worry that much about whether a particular widget is a little bit slower than some other parts of the site. There will be time to figure out ways to make the web faster. What we wanted to do was start the conversation so that people don't just think about the quality of their content. They also think about the quality of the content as it's loaded in the real world by a web browser to sort of think about the user experience and how compelling that user experience is. So what we're doing is just the first small step on that way, but it's already prompted a lot of people to think about this entirely new dimension of their website, and that's really useful. At the same time, you don't have to go overboard and get to the point where you're really worrying about whether you include an extra image or two. This is something that only affects a small percentage of sites. So the first thing you should be thinking about is how can I make my site better for users? And that's the thing that's the main factor.